Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm continuing my birthstone series here on YouTube where I make a quad based on the birthstone of the month. And this time it's July and July's birthstone is Ruby. So I always base my birthstone quads off of the Wix and Jewelers page, so that's where I find which birth birthstones <laughs> belong to which month. And I'm just going to read out to you what it says about Ruby. Rubies, the birthstone of July, are considered the king of gems and represent love, health and wisdom. It was believed wearing a fine red ruby bestowed good fortune on its owner. A ruby is the most valuable gemstone and its value increases based on its color and quality. So with that in mind, this is the color story that I found and I just based it off of a red matte from, this is from Luxie, it's called Cherry Kiss and it's really a true red in my opinion. And then we have this gorgeous red glitter called Berry Red from With Love Cosmetics and up here we have an iridescent shade that I wanted to use as an inner corner highlight and it's called a projection of bliss it's from Tammy Tanuka and then we have best coat scenario here just a gorgeous peachy corally shade to blend out the red matte and I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this for you So here we have the little color story and the first shade, the highlighting shade, is basically like a pink iridescent but it also has kind of like an orangey warm sheen to it. Of course then we have the peachy coral and the red matte and a gorgeous gorgeous glitter from With Love Cosmetics. As you can see it's super super reflective. And now let's just get going to the look that I did today using all of these shadows of course. So for my look I'm going to start out with the red matte and I'm going to pack it all over my lid and blend it out with the peachy one and I have not yet decided if I'm going to use this one as a liner or as like all over my lid. This one is obviously going to go uh, in my inner corner but let's just start out with this one and I'm using my Kaleidos Makeup S3 brush. I'm obviously also using my NARS smudge proof base that I always use now and I'm basically just packing this on all over the lid. As you can see this red is performing beautifully, blends out so nicely and it's super pigmented as well. And this is like a quite true red in my opinion. It's not super bright, it's just red. <laughs> So I think I'm happy with how this is looking. Since I haven't decided yet, I think I might actually do a liner, like a glitter liner. So then it's like important for me to actually have a straight line right here. Um, so I think I'll just find something square to like, okay, let's just use the palette. <laughs> so I'm just going to like put this one down like this. And then it's better to like use a bank card or something but then I'm just like making sure I have the pigment really pigmented where I want the liner to go it's a little bit easier when I can actually hold a palette to <laughs> uh, have a mirror but now I'm just looking into my monitor and I guess it's working I'll just work a little bit on that blending on the outer edge right here because here it's not really sharp but other than that you can totally see that I got that straight line that I was looking for make sure it's that opaque and blend it out on the edge too but I think I'm ready to go in with the shade best coast scenario so I'm taking a different brush it's the same shape just smaller and I'm just going to be adding that right above where I did the blending and this is just going to give us like that peachy warmth to the look. Honestly I think it's really beautiful with just that red blended out as well. I remember a look I did like 
at least a year ago <laughs> maybe even more no one year ago and I used a gold liner I actually used stacks from Lu Luxie and took all over here and it was so so beautiful before I do anything else I'm just going to set my brow bone with some setting powder just because you can see that this shade is getting a little bit too dark for my preference and before I do anything more it's really smart to just set the sticky base so that it won't get any darker and now you can see that I kind of removed a little bit of the red right here so I'm just going to pack that on and make sure I still have that as far up as I wanted it to be so I'm just going to repeat that on my other eye and then we can start going in with the glitter as a liner so as you can see I did remove um, a little bit of the eyeshadow here and you can just take a q-tip like this and just drag it right where you want that line to be so I don't really remember if I usually use a glitter glue underneath the pressed glitter I think not but just to like be sure that it will stick and to kind of map out where I want the glitter liner to be I'm just using a little bit of glitter glue right here and I'm just going to like mark out right where I want to place it so something like this and then I think I might just use the same brush because it's so stiff from using uh, glitter glue with it so it's easier to place the glitter so I'm just going to start right here in the corner and push it down So in order to get like a sharp line at the edge, I just decided to like smudge it down a little bit just to make sure I got that opaqueness of the glitter that I wanted. So now I'm just going back in with that Q-tip and taking away the glitter. And you have to like be a little bit more rough with the removing the glitter because obviously it sticks a little bit. So like that. And then I'm just going to do my face makeup, of course the other eye, and then I will show you what to do for my lower lash line. And I think I'll just do the exact same that I did on top here. And then add some of that um, iridescent shade in my inner corner. So I'm mostly done with my face makeup. I still, of course, have not done my highlighter and my brows, but I'm taking a little bit of that red and I'm using my Kaleidos Makeup S5 brush because it's quite small and I just want the red tucked into my lower lash line right here and I might just drag it quite far towards the inner corner but I do want the peach to be more blown out so now I'm just going to use the peachy shade packing it on here and I'm going to go in like back in with the red as well just to intensify it afterwards but I'm just making sure I blend this underneath the line that you can see here now I'm just going back in with that red stamping it in right here now I'm just going to take a little bit of glitter glue on my brush that I used with the glitter liner just that I made sure to remove all the glitter of course and I'm just going to add that here and I want it pretty blown out actually because this is like quite I wouldn't say neutral but like uh, wearable I don't know uh, for me so I'll just blow it out because you can see like the color that I put down like the peachy and the red shades I want it to be like right here and then I'm just going to go ahead and put on mascara do my brows and finish all that kind of stuff and do a close-up for you. So that was the close-up of my look and it's quite a simple look because it's basically just two matte shades, an inner corner highlight and a glitter liner, but I do think it's really pretty. For my lips I ended up using my W7 Lip Twister in the shade Shiraz and then I used my Meet Matte Use from the Balm in the shade Loyal which is this gorgeous red shade. And for my cheeks I ended up using my Makeup Geek blush called Heartthrob 
and my M Cosmetics highlight in sunlight. So it's quite subtle but really beautiful and has this natural glow from within, just that it's like pinky orange. <laughs> Other than that, I also used my Lumena Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Ultra Fair, and of course, as usual, my Joy Sunswept Blush Duo right here. So I guess that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed the look and the video. So if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love to see you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.